Step two in the plank uh, progression where we're going to do the knee to chest and hip extension. As we go to these lower surfaces, we're going to go from hands to more on elbows. You can do either. A lot of times I find that people have more uh, fatigue in their wrists from being in that position for a prolonged period, so the elbows seem to be more comfortable. So this is going to be about table height, and we have these nice cushion mat tables. You could do this on your own dining room kitchen table with a pillow under your forearms. You could also do this at a flight of stairs, where the stairs are up higher, can maybe mimic this height. The lower you go, that'll match some of the lower surfaces that we go to. So I'm going to go same position onto my forearms. Now this time, instead of pushing forward like I did in the last video, I'm just going to be resting on my elbows. And my feet will be a little further back, so I'm in this straight line. I want to make sure that my shoulder is over top of my elbow. I see some people that kind of start to do this, especially as they get tired. You want to make sure that you keep that shoulder right on top of the elbow and you're in a nice straight line. You also see that I start to raise up on my toes in these positions. Um, I don't have to keep my heels down like I did in the first video. So in this position, same concept of keeping shoulders not shrugged up, but pulling them down, chin tucked down a little bit, and stomach engaged so my back is flat. I'm going to bring the knee up, hold for five seconds, and then slowly transition back with the same idea of as I extend my leg, trying to make sure my back does not extend with it. And I'll once again do a five second hold. And you'll try for that same 10 to 20 on each leg.